I'm going to use Logic Trace to create a 3D file. I'm going to be using the small drawing board, the drawing board 6. It's 12 by 18 inches. This is the paper copy that I'll be tracing. I call this the portable drawing board. First thing I'll do here is define the four points. And then I'm going to select trace. You can see here where I've selected the four points of the diagram. This is going to be an interesting project because we're going to take a DXF file that we're going to trace out and convert it to an STL file for 3D printing. It's an easy diagram to trace out. There's only six parts. This small drawing board has a plastic overlay and you slip your diagram underneath. Makes it nice and neat and clean. You can see here that I save my work frequently. I like to save it as I go along. The main reason I save my work frequently is if I make a mistake, I can go back to that good copy and just start tracing again. I'm getting close to finishing up, so I'll save that last tracing as my final trace and I'm going to load that file into Vectric Aspire 11.5 and check the vector quality. In addition to checking the vector quality I like to run my file through the simulator of Aspire just to see how that part's going to look. This is sort of new ground for me so I asked a friend if he would help me convert this DXF file to an STL 3D file for printing. Shown here is the file that was created and this is going to be ready for a 3D print. The printer I'm using is a large format printer. Before I create the G-code for the printer I like to run it through the printer software just to see how the file is going to look while it's being printed. The first part of the print process is to create a raft or a bottom to that print so it sticks to the bed. This particular part that I'm printing took about an hour and 10 minutes and I set it up that the density of the print was about 65%. That affects the time. 3D printing is all about temperature. The extruders where the plastic goes into the head there they run at 210 degrees C. The bed, which you see the print fastened to, that bed runs at 52 degrees C. Those circular marks that you see around the print, kind of a cloudy area, that's a glue. That's just a cheap glue that you apply. That helps to keep the print down, because the print can move off the bed. When the print is complete, the heads will back off, and that's where you take like a metal spatula and just slip it underneath the print and take it off. The print is almost finished. This shows the raft and the backing which you have to remove. Shown here the print is complete 